This is a data set from the Calaveras Frog Jumping Jubilee. So it is the distance that frogs jumped from a center point. The contest is based off of three successive jumps and the furthest distance covered in those three jumps wins. So we have how far they jumped in each jump, how long that jump took, how far away they were after three jumps, and um, the important one for us here is column E. It's the frog type. This is one of four different kinds. So it's either an individual, um, is someone who's not part of an organized team, professional is part of an organized team and brought their own frog. A rental means that you got the frog from the state fair. Um, you can borrow one. An unknown means that they don't know the disposition of that frog. All right. So let's start with a first question. How far does a frog jump on average? So the literature about frog jumping says that the furthest a frog can jump is 1.3 meters. Right? So let's find out if our data set um, supports that or is it different than that. I'm going to create a pivot table. So insert pivot table. Okay. And I will just start by taking distance. That's how far the frog jumped and drag it into values three times. Now I'm going to change it to average for the first one. Second one will be standard deviation and third one will be count. All right. So we have 3000 observations. We have how far they jumped on average and the count. So the hypothesized mean from the literature is 130 centimeters, 1.3 meters. These are all in centimeters. So how different is this from that, if that's the true value? All right, so that's a, do a Z test for this. Um, so I will take my observation minus the hypothesized value, and I will end up dividing this by my standard error, which is my standard deviation squared divided by square root of my number of observations. Finally, I will take this divided by this. That's not right. Oh, missed some values there. There we go. I didn't capture the squared and the divide, divided side. All right, so this is our Z score. It is very small. Our critical value for a score would be um, 1.96. This is smaller than 1.96, or negative 1.96. Um, and so, therefore, there's not evidence to conclude that what we've observed is any different than the scientific value. Cool. So that is looking at them as a whole. But we actually can divide these up into different subgroups based on the frog type. So I just grabbed frog type, type and brought it into rows. Now I have some different values here. So I want to see if professional is different than rental. Rental would be like an average frog, an untrained um, person using the frog that's called a frog jockey. So an untrained jockey um, compared to a professional. I'll start by taking the observed value for each, subtract them, so that's the point difference. I will end up dividing that 
by professional squared divided by n doesn't like the way I'm doing squared equals amateur divided by n. I'm going to add these two together. Take the square root of that value. And now, finally, take this and divide it by that. So our z-score here is 30 on whether or not individuals are the same as mentals.